your way, I'll go mine. surface here. Dig their way out. surface here. Dig their way out. Greetings. Might you be interested in a moment's chat? You're a long way from Ophir? A long way, and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in a risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. 
Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore. Virgin lands discover. New knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new? To stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe. Knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered, and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding. Lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a rune right. I'll make it a point to talk to him. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Found this diagram. Think the markings might be Ophiri. Can't decipher them. Willing to help? This writing I recognize. We arrived in this land to immediate trouble. Local men, frankly rogues. Attacked we were. These are good instructions to forge fantastic gears fit for a king. To the ruler here I was to present them. But assist me. Retrieve the entire set, and I shall draft duplicates marked in the tongue of your craftsmen. Sounds like a fair deal. Think I can probably find those diagrams for you. These bandits, they knights seemed. They blow even harder. Where did it happen, this attack? At the crossroads. A sawmill near to it. And the ruins of a residence to the north, I believe. See what I can do. Farewell. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor, so race we must. Move it. Come on.
to her limits. Slow. A fiery mare's may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, Roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the step. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew, and she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell.
faster. Yes, Geralt. Finally some time to talk. Tell me where you've been, what you've done since you left Vizima. After our paths diverged? Mm. Well, the peace was brief, but I used it well. Went back to Oxenfurt, completed my doctorate, then I believe I did time in every field hospital and medic's tent north of the Yuruga. Never could stand to be idle. I'm not a witcher. 
Not likely to live 150 years. My time's much shorter, so I try to use every bit wisely. Always did know what you wanted. True. Nothing's changed in that sense. Gotta say, wedding was a great idea. Rarely have a chance to rest, get away from it all. Did me good to do just that. Oh, I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. Hope Vladimir's antics weren't too annoying. Uh, a peculiar man. Ghost, true. But I found him... likable. <laughs> Wager he was a real hoot when he was alive. Said you needed to think things over. Have you? Yes. I decided you're incredibly sweet, but... But we're better off keeping things as they were. Mm -hmm. You're always going places, and they're likely to ship me off soon. Uh, besides, we tried once, and you know how that worked out. You're right, but promise to share a bottle of wine with me from time to time. Of course. I tell you what, I'll keep one handy. You know, I'm wanting to ask you something. Ask me now. Just curious. You ever play Gwent? Oh, Geralt. Geralt. Of course I play. What else is there to do come evening when one's among soldiers? Come on, let's lay them out. So good, I'd say you spend more time chatting up folk for games than you do on serious matters. Nah, got lucky, that's all. <laughs> Likely. But here. I dare say, a formidable card from an old friend. So you won't have to rely entirely on luck. See you later. Thank you. 
How much for a herring? Crown a piece. Huh? I'll wait. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run of the mill curse. This professional curiosity or nosiness is common as the clown. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to do in Shaver's eager to face Olgierd von Evering, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How oh, so? Common carouses are roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. Tell me. How'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he'd turn into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards.
shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Need something else? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I must say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on. None of this dallying. to listen or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say I'm ready I'm listening good you'll return to your lord and tell him as follows his demand was brazen hurt me to the core for I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality and I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum understood I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt so you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Oh, I got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Barrel. What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's a little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. In no mood for a heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Know what I think? I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations, as I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. 
that some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. Problem is, I don't know the road to Kaer Morhen. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Cut the shit, Ogird. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. One drink, all I had. Your kind spreads disease. Defeat is You're choked to death on three pounds of steam. What? <laughs>